Hey, yo, you gonna leave me for a bitch to sling peanuts hole? I love Tokyo Vanity, let me tell you. I love me some Tokyo. As of right now, as of right now, she is my favorite character on um, Love Hip Hop Atlanta. So funny. <clears throat> oh my gosh. She had went out of town, child. And, um, she went, uh, you know, to perform or whatever or something. Uh, she has an album or whatever coming out. Or it's already out, however that works. Um, but she went out of town, found out that her man, Tobias, um, was messing around with somebody. Or at least she perceived it as messing around. What he say he did was, um, he went to go meet up with his ex, his ex-grandfather, when his ex-girlfriend's grandfather died and he went to console her. But um, men are so stupid. Like, I don't understand why he don't understand why that's disrespectful to go and meet up with your ex. Like, you know, knowing that if it was the other way around, he would be upset and mad and ready to leave her and all that. But, you know, it's just the classic men can do things that, you know, women do can't. If, if, they, if the woman went out and did... Half the things the man did, you know, it would be World War Three. He'd be ready to take her out, her mama, her aunties, the dog, the kids, everybody. It's just crazy. So she went off on him. She slapped the taste out of his mouth, or tried to. Um, and security came in. She said, "I beat your ass and her ass," and whoop to whoop. So apparently, as of right now, Tobias and Tokyo are done. But then I heard from my friend. On Instagram, they're still together. So I guess they worked it out somehow. Um, I guess they had to because otherwise it wouldn't make sense for Tokyo to be fighting Spice later on in the season. So I just hate it. I like Spice. I really, really like Spice. But Lord, I guess she got to get into this drama somehow, child. She got to do what she got to do to keep a check and, and, and to keep this mess going. So I guess she got to be in the mess too. I said, damn. It's always the good ones. You be hoping and praying. And wishing and hoping. Okay, so y'all, I'm going to be bouncing all around in this review. So y'all, just just stay with me, darling. If y'all watch the show, it all makes sense. So go and watch the show, then come back and watch this review. Or you can watch my review, then go and watch the show. Then come back and watch my review again. That would be great as well. Okay. So... A little scrappy coming back from Miami, you know, messing around with Shay them and love hip hop Miami. And um he came back to surprise Mama D. Mama D done got her whole new rack. Um these. She done got her um the whole new ass, a whole new body, a whole new toenail. Mama D is a brand new woman like Nene Leaks. Um he she came he came to the door, he ended up telling her, Look, I got another baby on the way. And she was just like, what? I'm going to have another grandchild. And the BAM, the BAM is pregnant. We all know that Mama D and the BAM um, did not have the best history. Um, you know, they didn't get along for a while. But, you know, that's who his, um, his, 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 uh, that's who her uh, son chose. And so, hell, what are you going to do? It's weird because I see Erica Dixon. She's going to be, um back on there next week um you know that's that's scrappy's first baby mama uh so it's it's gonna be interesting child i was wondering when erica's gonna come back not that she's missed because uh, she wasn't that big of a you know star in my opinion um but you know she's gonna be coming back so we'll see i always thought erica was pretty pretty hood but pretty okay um so what else is going on so they did that. Um, the Bambi, um, you know, she came back. She's like four months pregnant or so. I think maybe she had the baby by now. In real life, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, but I don't like that blonde hair on her. Um, um, you know, I, I want a sister, sister girls to get um, that right shade of blonde that works for them. And blonde just don't work for everybody, no matter who you are. Um, but I definitely do not like Bambi and blonde hair. At least not that platinum blonde ice white hair. 
Oh, I'm getting so sick of that. I wish people would pick another color down, child. Surprise a hole. Give me some bright red or something. Give me a ginger tea. Something. But anyway, um, she met up with Rashida and Tammy Rivera. Um, they were sitting around talking. Uh, Mama D invited Rashida and Tammy. Bambi, you know, she wanted to make it all a big secret that she was pregnant, even though she told everybody, millions of people on TV. I wanted it to be a secret. I just didn't want to tell the whole world. You just told the whole world, girl. What you saying? Try to kill me with that. Um, so, yeah. But it was interesting to me because uh, me and my mom was talking about it, watching Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. And um, a baby was just like, yeah, I didn't tell nobody but my mom. But baby got mad when Scrappy told his mama. I'm like, your mama is just as much of grandmother as Mama D is. Mama D is Mama D is a lot, but that's still you know, that's that's your husband's mama, and you told your mama, what what's the problem? But you know, I'm guessing it's just because her and Mama D haven't had the best history, but they're okay for right now. They're okay, they're okay for right now. Okay, so what else is going on, child? Uh, I see. I don't think it was much to this episode except for um, the whole fight scene. Hell, that's all I can think about. Okay, so Tokyo Vanity, she was having an album release party. Everybody was there. Random girls climbing up the walls like Spider-Man. I said, who is these huzzies? But anyway, um, you know, they're having fun, living their life. And um, now remember, Carly... Sierra and Tokyo had set up this whole little pack um, that they was going to get Sierra. Um, they was going to get, um, sorry, they was going to get Khalees. Keely. They was going to get Keely, child. And um, so Carly and them ended up invite, inviting Blue Da Vinci. Blue Da Vinci is apparently Keely's baby daddy. Um, now, Bunchy, Bachi, whatever his name is. Um, he looks like Jaleel White, Bachi, except dark skin. Y'all know Urkel. That's who he gives me a little bit with the big eyes and stuff. He looks like Jaleel White with a little bit of, um, Isaac Hayes tease a little bit. But anyway, um, you know, he did not know who Keely's baby daddy was. Um, and so, uh, he found out that it was Blue and him and Blue actually grew up together, had some kind of relationship growing up. So Blue... Had a conversation with Bonchi, Bachi, whatever his name is. Um, and, you know, they had a grown man conversation. He said all he asks is that, you know, when it comes to Keely and their child, that he stays out of it. And basically just mind his business. And Bachi, you know, he agreed. Um, Bachi seems really cool and nice. And he don't seem like he's about the drama. Which is very interesting when I see that because... Usually somebody who's really nice and laid back always end up with somebody who's a hell raiser. And Keely is definitely that in the relationship. Um, when Keely actually got there, you know, don't nobody, everybody against Keely at this point. Because she stuck her nose and shoot her in Sierra's business had nothing to do with her nothing. Um, Keely showed up, everybody looking at her crazy. Now Keely being messy, Keely brought Drea, or Dreek, whatever her name is. Which is Shooter's um, other woman that she hooked Shooter up with because she felt like Sierra wasn't taking care of her duties. So she stepped in as Shooter's friend. Child, please. So, anyway, um, before I get to that, um, Blue and Keely, you know, the baby daddy and baby mama, they went to go have a conversation. He was yelling at her. He said, I just want to see my son. Keely said that you ain't made no effort in a year and a half to see your son. So I'll let you know if I want you to see your son or not. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, dang, it's been a whole year and a half. He haven't done anything for his son. Um, but, you know, it's, it's obviously, I think it's a situation where it's more so her that's kind of holding the son hostage, as, as a lot of people do. Because she's, you know, still angry at Blue because of whatever he put her through. And, you know, who knows how much um, Blue put Keely through. You know, nobody knows. So, you know, maybe she has a good reason. Uh, but Blue look a little crazy. And Blue look a little, like, feared. Because I could tell Bachi was a little shaken and nervous in his boots. But Blue looked like he, you know, he, he'll cut up some stuff. 
So I don't know, child. So after they had that conversation, um, Keely went back over to the crowd. She was just like, look, I ain't going to never let uh, my haters see me sweat. But, you know, everybody had already saw y'all yelling and stuff, Keely. So I don't know what she's talking about. So um, they went back over there. And um, Keely tried to come for Carly uh, about Tobias. Um, you know, uh, Carly already talked to Tokyo about Tobias. That they used to, um, they went on a few dates, but they didn't have sex or anything. And Tokyo already know. Tobias was just like, nothing happened between us. And Carly was just like, yeah, 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 that's what you get, that's what you get. Sean Garrett just looking at Carly crazy. Carly throwing shots at Young Jock. Um, which is, you know, weird. But you know Carly crazy, child. So, here comes Sierra pooching in, bouncing in, twisting in. Now, Sierra came in there with Bachi's other woman. On again, off again woman named Crystal, I think. So, each one of them had somebody else with them for somebody. You know, and of course, all those people in a room together that can't stand each other. Um, it's going to be some issues, like, obviously. And Bachi told Keely to stay at home, but she wanted to come out and, you know, be Keely. So Sierra came in, and Keely started on Sierra. She was just like, yeah, this is um, Drea. This is my sister. This is, you know, Shooter's woman. And Sierra was just like, Shooter? Who's Shooter? Child, before I knew it, before any of us knew it, that darn Sierra... She picked up her purse with bricks in it. Y'all know Sierra known for throwing purses, child. But she threw a purse at Moriah last season. Sierra picked up that heavy ass purse. And she slung it. And hit the Keely in the head. And they had a hold of each other's hair, child. It went going up well. They had a hold of each other's hair, child. I actually put my hair too hard. Had a hold of each other's hair child. It took like 14 police officers. To get them ladies. Out of each other's hair. Legit. Sierra just you know. I, I guess she just felt so disrespected. She just had to take it to her. <laughs> and then we have. Um, they trying to hold big Tokyo bag. Um, they you know. Call it jumping all over. People with that blonde wig on. Playing leapfrog. It was a mess. I was just like ooh. Sean Garrett falling out all on the floor. And Sean, little sweet Sean, he ain't hurt nobody. He ain't got no issues. He ain't got time. Sean is the legit, real boss in this music game. I don't even know why he on the show. Especially messing around with um, Fire Crotch Red. Child. So anyway. um, So, after that whole fiasco, Sierra met up with Tokyo, Carly, and Crystal. Um, the Bachi's other woman they had a conversation was just talking and Sierra apologized said I'm sorry I put y'all in that kind of predicament but something just came over me and and all that and you know she just couldn't take it so you know now it's permanent beef between Keely and Sierra so that's going to be a mess um what else happened uh the guys met up and had a conversation about the whole thing um, Blue, Jock, uh, 